This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Jay Dauntless sent me a tweet that the Federal Trade Commission finalized the deal making non-complete clauses in contracts illegal. Now, what struck me about this, because I knew that they were deciding it, but I didn't know it was finalized. And thank you, Jay Dauntless, for bringing it to my attention. What I find so crazy about this when it comes to the stock market, when it comes to employees of the SEC, employees of FINRA, employees of our regulatory agencies, employees of FINRA, of SEC, they work for these government or quasi-government agencies and their job is to find fraud, to look for what the bad actors are doing wrong and hold them accountable. That is their job. Yet, they never had non-complete non -complete clauses. And because they never had non-compete clauses, if somebody in the SEC, for example, was doing an investigation and it wasn't going the way of the, the bad actor, they would just offer, or not they would, they could just offer the investigator a job in the hedge fund, a job in the bank, a job in the financial entity. And this person went from being the investigator of the fraud to now defending the fraud. And not only are they defending the fraud, they have access to all the information they had when they were working for the SEC or other governmental agency. If any agency or industry needed non-compete agreements, it would have to be the SEC. It would have to be FINRA. It would have to be DTCC. You can't go from investigating fraud to not working for the company you were investigating. I mean, or, or, or vice versa. You have these hedge fund guys like Gary Gensler. All of a sudden, they end up in the SEC. How in the world can we expect the market to be regulated properly when they are tasked with regulating their buddies, they are tasked with regulating people that, that go to the same school as, as, as their kids, that they go to the same country clubs, that, that they're fighting against the guy that they play golf with every weekend. They outlawed non-competes in the regular industry, but where non-competes are needed, they were never any non-compete clause as in my opinion and this is just my opinion if you work for the sec if you work for finra if you work for the dtcc if you work for regulatory agency you should not be able to just start working for somebody you were investigating one day after you leave government service it makes absolutely no sense and the sec the doj finra DTCC shouldn't be hiring people fresh from hedge funds, fresh from financial institutions, fresh from market makers. You know why? Because there will never, ever be any real enforcement. So while it's great that they have outlawed non-compete agreements in the private sector, where we need non-compete clauses, there aren't any. You know why? Because the bad actors make money by robbing and stealing from retail investors so nobody cares about protecting our money. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think uh, SEC employees should be able to start working for the company they were investigating two days before? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.